What is up guys, it's Rizky here. Welcome back to another Call of the Wild video on my channel here today. The release of Teowara on console is right around the corner on February 9th. So pretty much exactly a week from now, you guys will be able to get your hands on the new map. Unfortunately, it's been under like a, hell, it's been maybe two months or so. A month and a half, two month delay. It's been quite a while and it's uh, been quite unfortunate. A lot of console players haven't, you know, been very happy as of recently because they have been left out and it's completely understandable. I really hope within the next map release for Call of the Wild, they do actually put them out at the exact same time instead of spacing them out so far. It's just, it's not professional. It's not, um, you know, just it's the community doesn't appreciate it like that you know make everybody happy at the same time and i think that's the best way to get a very good and positive response from your community but since the map is right around the corner i'm sure there's a lot of people wondering is the map even worth it well i'm gonna give you my personal opinion in this video we're just gonna run around here maybe shoot some things and i'm just gonna tell you about my personal experience here on Tiawara and if i think it is worth purchasing so one of the plus sides of getting Tiawara is the 303 rifle. It's definitely a really amazing rifle and it is definitely really worth it. So in order to get this rifle, you have to purchase the Tiawara DLC. It comes with three different vari variants here. One of them, I believe it's the laminated here. You actually do have to complete the story mode to unlock. You get the polymer and the burnish, the burnish being my favorite. But the 303 is a very viable rifle to use. The 303's recommended classes are four to eight. So you can take out basically anything from a white tail to a red deer or an elk using the 303 and it does a very good job at doing all of those things with this map you get quite a handful of new species being the feral goat the feral pig the european rabbit sika deer red deer turkey fallow deer and also chamois so there is definitely quite the abundance of animals to hunt on this map all of them being pretty easy to find and a lot of fun to hunt and if you're wondering what the beauty of this map is like well it's actually pretty dang amazing it's a very beautiful looking map you have rivers that run through the map, big tall mountains that you can climb and hunt chamois and other animals up here. But you're mainly going to be finding chamois. I believe there's one down there right now. So if you do want to come up here in the mountains and hunt some chamois, it's a lot of fun. It definitely adds to the challenge. It's a really cool species added to this map and, uh, you know, something different. And a lot of animals in this game don't really require you to work for them. You kind of just run around at different jinx zones. But the chamois actually kind of make you work for them. You have to get up here and climb these mountains and, uh, you know, make sure you don't fall to your death while trying to hunt these things. So it's pretty interesting. The map also has these very thick, wooded, heavy foliaged areas that look really beautiful, especially when the sun is shining through and you can see the sun rays and everything. It looks amazing. And uh, you have to keep your eyes open when you're running through this stuff because it is very hard to see animals especially red deer and sika deer is what i mainly find in these type of areas uh yeah you'll mistake their antlers for a tree branch very easily the overall size of the map is pretty dang good as well i wouldn't say it's overly huge and i wouldn't say it's too small as well you definitely have quite a lot of territory to explore on this map so you won't get bored of it very easily if you are into uh you know exploring and walking through the mountains and stuff i know a lot of people use this game as a kind of meditation slash hiking simulator I've had people comment in my videos saying that they don't even like hunting in this game. They just like getting on, putting their headphones on, and just walking through the wilderness because the game is so beautiful. And, you know, I kind of understand that. It's definitely a pretty peaceful game rather than getting on Call of Duty and dying to a DMR-14 all the time. You can just hop on here on Call of the Wild and run through the wilderness, but, you know, you have to make sure that a turkey doesn't fly into your head and kill you. So to answer your question, is this map worth it? I would say yes, it, it definitely is. Considering you'd only be paying $8 for a handful of new animals, a new rifle, and a whole new map to explore and spend time on Call of the Wild playing, uh, it's, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely a bang for the buck. I've been playing it a good bit here on PC, and it seems pretty bug-free. I haven't really ran into that many bugs on this map. It was definitely a much better release than Silver Ridge Peaks. There was a lot more bugs on that map that I found than this one that's just personal experience though maybe some of you guys out there that have played this have ran into way more bugs than i have but so far it's been a pretty solid experience it seems pretty finished i'm honestly not too sure what exactly took them so long to bring it out on console i i have no clue man but the good news is it's just right around the corner and you guys will be able to get your hands on this i know there's been quite a few people in my comments saying that i'm not even going to purchase this map anymore they don't deserve my money and, and stuff like that but you know I'm, I'm sure those people are going to end up buying the map it's worth it guys trust me if you enjoy call of the wild and you want some more content get this map it's it's a load of fun there's a lot of new content added with this map 
So hopefully that helps you make up your mind if you really want to buy this map or not. Thank you all for the support recently. It means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.